Okay, so welcome, welcome to our um, to our learning session for this this week or this month. And this is will be just a quick sharing because we'll just be talking about four points. And the title of this sharing is the four disciplines of execution for your high performing teams. And I'll just open my chat box para kung may mga chats kayo uh, and questions. Um, I can also see it. Kung may mga tanong din kayo, make sure lang na you post it in the chat box, di ba? Or pag may mga questions ako and, and I'm asking you to answer, pwede rin. No? So, sige, type in the exclamation point if you are excited to learn the four di di disciplines of execution. Ayan. Th thank you, thank you, thank you. Ayan. So, of course, how many of you would like to have high-performing teams? Type in me if you want to have high-performing teams this 2021 moving forward. Ayan, di ba? Siyempre, lahat naman tayo. Na, so, yun din yung gusto ko. No? So, I, I thought of a way of how I can motivate my team and a system. Pinag-uusapan natin yung sistema rin of how I will run my team. And this is this is specifically for my direct team. As you all know, I have uh, I have two unit managers in my team, si Christine and si Argel. And then I have a direct team. Marami rin sila. No? So parang 15, 16 kami. Ayun. So I, I th thought of a way of what can I share with them. So I, I remembered that one of the major topics in our training programs that we have as unit managers and as potential agency managers is the 4DX or the four disciplines of execution. And then I just remembered that, I don't know, how many of you have attended Jim Key recently, where he discussed about the 12 week year. Kindly type, type in 12 weeks. No, 12 weeks, type in 12 weeks yan if you've attended. Diba? So marami, nakita ko, no? So we just attended it last year as well. And it's a book by Brian Moran wherein diba, in, in, ang idea is, sabi niya, marami tayo sobrang na-accomplish na during the fourth quarter because yun yung deadline. So what if we just, instead of 12 months, we just only have, we run our lives in 12 weeks, 12 week pa fashion. So para tayo may four years in a year, in a calendar year. And according to, to the 12 week year, kung sabi ni Brian Moran, the barrier standing between you and what you are truly capable of is not a lack of information, ideas, or techniques. Kasi marami tayo dito niyan when we are attending this type of, of gathering. No, but the secret sauce is really execution. That's where we are lacking. And then when I was reviewing the 4DX, sabi ko, uy, parang yung 12-week year ni, four, ni Brian Moran is really based on 4DX. Parang pareho sila. So sabi ko, I, I, parang maganda siyang i-mesh together. Diba? So type in execution if you agree that our the, the missing link between what we want to achieve and what we have today is execution. Ayan, type in execution. Thank you. So again, that's the main challenge. Diba? Ang daming ideas, ang daming knowledge, uh, ang daming training. That sometimes maybe katulad nyo, ako rin, o katulad ko, na-feel nyo rin na ang daming training with Film Life na lulunod ako, hindi ko na alam. Parang pumapasok, wala na pumapasok sa isip ko. Tama ba? Can you type in relate if you can relate with what I'm sharing? Diba? Also with, uh, yeah, thank you sa mga nagta-type, no? With, with the 4DX, ito yung review, no? When I was also reviewing 4DX, na, naalala ko, no, na the biggest reason why people fail to execute of, on their goals is because of the whirlwind. How many of you have attended 4DX in training before? Kindly type in 4DX. Uh, if you have attended this training before, ayan. So, hindi ko kasi sure, baka yung iba hindi pa. No? So, I really love this training. This is one of the most powerful topics in leadership and in building your high-performing teams. So, yung whirlwind, di ba? Yung whirlwind, yun yung, meron kang ginagawa papunta sa goal mo, pero may nangyayari biglang, kailang urgent din siya, but maybe not that important. Or maybe er important din siya, but not the level na gusto mo talagang ma-achieve. No, mga example ko niyan, uh, I don't know if you can relate, dito sa bahay, di ba? We are working from home. So, like, may ginagawa ka sa office, may mga gusto kong gawin, and then, kakatok ako, kumakatok yung wife ko, kakatok yung anak ko, gusto makipaglaro, may papagawa, na whirlwind na ako. Di ba? Yung plano kong gawin for the day, hindi ko na nagawa. And sometimes, it took, it takes me a few more days, minsan next week na, before ko ulit magawa yung gusto kong gawin. Type in relate if na nangyayara rin sa inyo yan. Di ba? Or, whatever, let's say, may, na, may plano kang gawin for your um, sales or for your recruitment, biglang may nangulit na client, important din siya, kailangan mo sagutin, naubos na yung oras mo, di ba? So, wala ka nang 
tayo, hindi mo na nagawa na naman yung plano mong gawin. And that's why we're so it's so important for us to remember or to remind ourselves of the four disciplines of execution. So ito yung ito yung apat. Number one is focus on the wildly important, di ba? So ang tinatawag natin na dyan is yung WIG or wildly important goal. So dapat daw meron tayong wildly important goal, let's say for the year. So you can teach your people to also have that one or two wildly important goal for the business. Number two is act on the lead measure, di ba? Um, yung lead measure, ito yung mga activities na kailangan mong gawin para makuha yung results. A lot of times, we set goals. Okay yon, But those are lag measures. Ito yung wala ka na magagawa kasi resulta na yon. So we have to focus on lead measures. Let, let, later, we, I'll, I'll briefly run through that. And then number three is keep a compelling scoreboard. Pag daw may scoreboard at lagi nakikita, you're compelled to take action. So dapat nare-remind din tayo din. And of course, number four is create a cadence of accountability na mas maganda if you're just not doing it alone. Okay, so type in the exclamation point if you're excited to learn uh, the, ne the next few slides. Go ahead. Habang umiinom ako. Perfect, thank you. So again, um, ito, just a brief summary lang to. You can watch the book. Ay, sorry, you can watch videos, you can read the book, and you can attend training as well. Um, wala tayong time ngayon to have execution for the work workshop. Maybe some other time, maybe next month, maybe two months from now, let's have another session. But, you know, ang, ang ibig sabihin lang nito, you, you, have, you gotta have that wildly important goal. If you can even just ask yourself, what is that one thing na gusto mong matapos this year? I'll just share mine. Ang, ang sa akin, 21 new recruits sa 2021. Diba? So parang for, for the direct team. Bakit? Uh, all the other things are also important. Gagawin ko rin yun. Magbibenta ako. I'll, I'll have meetings with my team. Diba? Uh, Magpapa-attend ako sa BOP. Pero dapat, klaro, ang gusto ko talagang ma-achieve is new recruits coded. Kasi yun nga, pag na whirlwind na naman ako, nakalimutan ko na naman na goal ko siya. Diba? Kasi meron na tayong weekly habits or daily habits na ginagawa. So ikaw, if you can type in also, if alam mo na, or pinag-iisipan mo pa lang, type mo lang din sa chat box, ano yung one thing if you just have one thing this uh, for this year na gusto mong ma-achieve among all the other goals that you know you will also accomplish, ano yung one thing mo? Diba? Yan, 15 recruits. Thank you, Ben. Right, so just type in there. I'll just read whatever you're typing. Diba? So ganun siya ka-important. And you know, yan, 3 UMs, 20 recruits, ganun. So kailangan dyan enthusiasm. When you are clear, 100 new advisors kay, kay Eman, diba? 4 AUMs kay Jen, that's good. Diba? We need the rookie of rookie units of the year. Si Jano, boy, may hinahamon si Jano. Ayan. So, two AUMs. So, Gray. Gray, si Jano daw, rookie unit of the year. Ayan. So, you know, so di ba, enthusiasm. You gotta be excited. You gotta be excited. But if you cannot be excited, if you don't know, if you don't have that clear goal of what you want to achieve. No, so, may formula ako sa enthusiasm. Sabi ko, um, sabi ko sa team, VIP. Pauso ko lang to, no? so baka hindi nyo makita to sa ibang libro. Sabi ko, vision plus intention equals production. So, you gotta have a, that big vision um, probably five years from now, what do you wanna achieve? Diba? Gusto ko mag-AM. Minerinig ko kanina, at three years from now, gusto ko mag-AM. That's the vision. But we also should set intention, not just for the year, so we set goals for the year, but we set goals for the month. Diba? We, actually, ayoko nga tawagin goals or target. Eh. Ito yung intention ko, gagawin ko for the month. And then, on our weekly meeting, so later I'll share about that, pinapaset ko rin sila ng intention. Okay, ito yung gusto kong ma-achieve this, this week. Ganon. So, ito, diba? so, we talk about that regularly. Dapat may intention ka. Pag may intention ka, coupled with a big vision, of course, itasabay na yung action, magkakaroon ka ng production. So, uh, ganon ka-important. If you have so clear of a goal, isang wildly important goal, lagi mo nakikita yan. Maybe naka screen, uh, parang ano ba, naka, na wallpaper siya sa phone mo or sa la laptop mo, and you'll be more productive. Diba? So number two is lead, act on the lead measure. So kung compare lang natin yung lead and lag measure, diba? parang approaches is the lead measure pag approach mo sa mga potential recruits versus BOP attendees. You cannot say, I want to have three BOP attendees this week. Diba? Parang okay yon pero make sure that meron kang approach. Right. Sa, sa mga advisors natin, presentations versus saved lives, di ba? Okay, gusto kang magkaroon ng benta, tatlo, apat, lima. Pero how many presentations will you do this week? So we have, you gotta act 
on the lead measure. That's what I, I always check on them, or we always check on them naman. Um, let's say sa social media, we want to have a lot of inquiries bumaayan sa mga Facebook pages natin. But you got to also check on the, your FB, IG, YouTube, or LinkedIn posts. Like for example, me, ang goal ko this year, one recruitment video sa YouTube channel ko every week. So yun yung gusto ko, whatever yung kailangan ko makreate for that, uh, yun yung lead measure ko na main. Because ang goal ko talaga is recruitment this time. So before, makaisip lang ako ng isa, masaya na ako for the month, or even like one per quarter. But this time, parang one a week. Kasi klaro, the, the, the wildly important goal should be recruitment. Ito, recruitment interviews versus new recruits. Okay, gusto ko magkaroon ng new recruits. Resulta yun eh. But sometimes, nakakalimutan ko na, oh, ang dami na palang nasa pipeline. Hindi ko sineset yung interview. So dapat i-interview ko sila, di ba? As a unit manager, minsan tinatamad ako mag-interview. So barang dami. Nakakapagod, one to one and a half hours minsan. Di ba? So, eh kung madami sila, di ba? But if the goal is clear, then I can act now on my lead measure. So I'm lear please type in I'm learning if you are learning so far. Pasensya na kung medyo mabilis. Ayan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next is of course, team scoreboard. So pwede kang gumawa. Alam ko lahat naman kayo meron, di ba, ng team scoreboard. So whatever that scoreboard is, uh, maybe in the future, thank you, we can learn with each other. We can share our different scoreboards so that we can improve with one another. So because we always say, and Miss A, our agency manager, the district manager always say that what gets measured gets done. When you measure, lalo na on a regular basis, a lot of, a big chance na madadan siya. Like for example, first week gusto niya dapat 40% submitting na. Parang ganun. 40% ng advisor mo submitting na. Diba? So lagi na check yun. So on a weekly meeting, talaga may scoreboard, may intention setting, etc. So I think, um, whatever I learned in the past, for the past eight years that I've been, I've been with Film Life, nilagay ko lang siya dito sa quick training na to. Right? And of course, number four, accountability group. So, this, late last year, uh, because my Waterloo in team building has always been the direct unit. No? So, um, so okay, may recruit sila Christine, na one-on-one -on -one ko yung mga teams nila, sila Argel, yung, yung mga groups ko na one-on-one -on -one sila, but my direct unit will always be you know, just floating. Yun yung nagiging problema. So, last year was something different kasi ang lalayo ng mga direct units ko, eh, may taga Pampanga, may taga Batanga. So, before, kahit magpa-regular meeting ako, dati once a month, tapos ginawa ko three times a month, that was pre-pandemic, konti lang yung nakaka-attend. Last year, it was something different because pwedeng online, mas dumama yung attendees. And because of that, naibalik ko na ulit yung dati naming nakagawian na weekly yung meeting talaga kami. So, that really should be the unit meeting to aside from the agency so uh, dapat talaga weekly lalo na sa time ngayon di ba um, so because of that we formed accountability group may body system sila and then we check on what we're doing on a regular basis so yon um so nagkakaroon kami ng Saturday meeting 9:30 to 12 noon ito yung mga ginagawa namin so we always start on time we make sure we do that we have team connections like just like what we do ang mga wins and sharing or sharing diyan of course uh Prospecting activities, sinasabi ko, sa dami ng training na inaatinan, pag wala ka rin nagawa, di pagod na pagod ka lang, di ba? So I, I give them at least 30 minutes or one hour, 30 minutes uh, to set appointments already during the meeting. Parang ganun. So para na rin siyang ace. And then of course, sharing of best practices. Uh, not normal naman yan for most units naman. Peer coaching, so I also ask their struggles and then... Uh, we, we coach one another sa buong meeting. So, hindi tayo puro, we don't actually look at numbers that much. Ayun. And then, we set intention, yun yung sinishare ko kanina. Every week, okay, ano yung goal mo? And then, special topics, kung meron akong topic or meron kaming guest speaker, uh, I'll invite. And then, of course, yun nga, nag-monitoring kami, which is, you know, least of the priority na rin naman. Ayun. So, that's what I'm doing with my team. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. Later, I'll just show a few of our scoreboard, but you know, just to summarize the four disciplines of execution, the first is discipline of focus. Kung meron kang isang wildly important goal, probably maximum of two, makaka-focus ka talaga kung anong gusto mong ma-achieve this year. Apart from all the other things that you really want to achieve. Number two is discipline of leverage, di ba? So, um, if you are, yun nga, para siyang the zero domino, the first domino. Pag natumba yung first domino, which is the the activities or the lead measure, tutumbayan lahat. Eh. May mangyayari agad siya. 
Number three is the discipline of engagement, which is, pag yun nga, pag may scoreboard, lagi mong ina-update, nakikita nila lagi, mariremind sila regularly, makikita nila. So yun, meron tayong scoreboard, they will be more engaged. And of course, the discipline of accountability, which is creating a cadence of accountability. So this one uh, screenshot, if you can screenshot this, this page already summarizes the four disciplines of execution. So um, uh, let's make our 2021, the year you started, uh, building your next gen company because we are CEOs. So let me share with you my um, let me share with you my Google Sheets. Uh, dalawang Google Sheets lang uh, just to um, just to sh uh, show you. Teka lang, ha. Let me just open it kasi hindi ako makapag-open kanina habang nag-share kayo eh. <laughs> kasi ako din yung nag ano, nag spotlight Teka lang ha. Ayan. So are you learning so far? What are you learning so far? Please type in the chat box. What are you learning so far? Ayan. So para we habang ginagawa ko to, we are saving some time. Para may nangyayari. Please type in the chat box. What did you like so far with what I've shared? Ibalik ang, and, ang scoreboard. So execution is key. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What else? Weekly meeting, yes. Yeah, kailangan talaga, Argel, no? Yeah, so for me, daily is too much. Yung million dollar habit before, for me, it's too much. I cannot do it. But weekly, we cannot not do it. Ayun. So what else? Sige. So let me share with you. Yeah, focus on wig, maximum of two. First step is to creating some sort of structure and system. Tama. Gora, wag pa tumpik tumpik. Oh, lead measure, sabi ni Mayen. Sige, while I'm reading your chat, ready na ako mag-share ng Google Sheets ko. Ang bagal naman ng isa. Anyway, so ganito lang ginagawa namin on a monthly basis. I asked them to set an intention sa first meeting namin of the week. Of course, may mga awa-awarding, kasama naman yun. Uh, pero hindi nga ako masyado magaling dun. So this is where I'm good at. They, I asked for their intention. Yan, so sa so direct unit. And then, ina-update to ng assistant ko pag ano na yung actual nila. So every meeting they will see, di ba? Tapos pati policy counts. Let me just uh, unzoom it. Tatlo lang. ANP, policy counts, BOP, COP attendees. Yun lang. So uh, yun. Tapos ilan yung policy counts, ganyan. And then I already know our, let's say, producing advisors activity ratio. Kita na yan dito. Yun. So accomplish, accomplishment rate. So I have that per month. Uh, every meeting in update namin siya so nakikita nila and then meron lang akong parang quarterly no na para sa PPB alam din namin kung malapit na sila or ilang pa yung kulang nila yun lang and then ito yung hindi pa namin masyado nagagawa actually yung um, monitoring ng activities because but i also want them to have yung mga activities like approach appointments scene calls sinimulan ko pa lang kasi this year to yun para nakatutukan lang per week, o ilan na activity mo, and then for the month. So, simple lang siya, Ina they can update this, nakashare sa kanila to, they can update this at their own time, they can also update this during the meeting. So, this is the, the weekly thing, and then, uh, sorry, the, the monthly thing namin, ito yung intention setting namin for the scoreboard. And then, for the advisor, ito yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo, meron akong calculator dito na ginawa for the advisor. Kunyari, si advisor, uh, let's say si Jad, no, si si Jad, ang intention niya, gusto niya mag-MDRT, so 2.2 million, and then ANP, 3 million. Ilang save lives? 60. Lagay niya lang dyan. And then, there's a calculator that computes magkano dapat yung goal mo per quarter tsaka per month. So kunyari, January, um, sa so FYP mo, kung gusto mong 2.2 million, 550 yan ang goal mo per quarter, 183,000 siya per month. So kung naka 200,000 ka na FYP, for example, nung January, lagay mo lang dito, liliit yung goal mo for February. No, just to, you know, give you, nag adjust siya no, based dun sa quarterly goal mo. Parang ganon. Kung kulang yan, like kung 100,000 lang siya, lalaki yung goal mo sa February. Yun yung gusto natin eh. Para hindi siya maghabol sa dulo. No, so sinasabi niya kagad, oy February, 266 kailangan mo, hindi 183 ah. Kasi kulang ka. Parang ganon. So, um, this is the scoreboard that I shared with my team. The same thing with ANP. 
So kunyari gusto mo 3 million ANP. Ayan. So kung never ka nagbenta ng first three quarters, kunyari lang, no? Uh, 3 million ang goal mo for the fourth quarter, 1 million each. Parang that's how this scoreboard shows it. No? And then ganun din sa save lives. Kung gusto mo 60, let's say, pa isa isa ka lang, lalaki yung goal mo for the second quarter. Instead na 15 lang, 27 ka ngayon kasi you lag behind eh. Para matapos mo pa rin yung year mo at that certain goal. So that's one of the things. Please type in I like it if you like it or if you understand. Sorry, medyo mabilis ako. Ayun. And then second, itong in-incorporate ko yung kay Jim Key. So for example, meron kami 12-week year na monitoring kasi tapos na kami dun sa online thing. Eh, no? So um, let's say wala na, simi, wala na kaming access. Gumawa na ako ng mas simple. Um, so I asked them to write in maximum of two business goals for the quarter, for the 12 weeks, and then personal goals sama na rin. And then lead measure tactics every week. Mo lang siya gagawin. So bakante yung iba, tapos gagawin mo lang yung lalagay mo lang yung goal mo for the week. Like for example, first week nung nag-meeting kami, ang goal ko, one recruitment video for the week, magkaroon ng launching ng DNA next gen, meron din po kaming ganyan. Uh, tapos yung daily exercise, 10 minutes para sa akin. Approach 10 potential recruits, hindi ko siya nagawa. Tapos follow up 5 YouTube inquiries for BOP, hindi ko siya nagawa, for example. So 3 out of 5 ako, okay na dyan. Tapos nung nag-meeting kami last Saturday, tinipe ko na rin yung mga gusto kong gawin this week. So kunyari, daily exercise at least 10 minutes so far, yes. Stick to one rice per, per meal, parang lumagpas yata ako. So maybe most likely no na to this week. One recruitment video in YouTube, tapos ko na to. So yes siya. Um, follow up all potential recruits in Trello, hindi ko pa siya nagawa. Tapos next gen session, unit meeting later to. So yes na yan. Parang ganun. So every week you check mo lang siya and then pagdating ng meeting nyo ulit, type ka lang ulit ng goals mo for the week. So yun lang yung ginawa ko briefly. This session is recorded. I'll upload this in my YouTube channel and then you can just review it. So thank you.